Hi friends, I am your Joel John. Now in this video we are going to talk about the direct democracy. And first we will as usual we will define and then I will explain about that. So still stay till the last of the video so that you know the explanation part will be more interesting. So now as usual we can go ahead with the definition direct democracy also called as pure democracy. So this is where the purity of democracy is there because it's directly by the people that's all. And uh, involves having citizens as individual votes on issues related to elected representatives. Representative democracy is however more common in the world. Direct democracy can be defined as a form or system of democracy given citizens an extraordinary amount of participants in the legislative process and granting them a maximum of political self-determination. Example, perhaps the most prominent example of direct democracy was Asian Athens and uh, Romania as well. Although the Athens excluded women's slaves and foreigners from voting, Athens democratic system required all citizens to vote on all major issues. In modern history, Switzerland is the only country that practices a form of direct democracy. Most Western countries have a representative system. Switzerland is a rare example of a country with instruments of direct democracy at the levels of municipality at all levels. So now direct democracy you can see like some level like the Panjait Raj system in India is also an example of direct democracy. So now getting into the key point of direct democracy. What is direct democracy? You often, we in India have a indirect democracy system and it's a parliamentary democratic system. We have a multi-party democratic country. It's very important for all Indians to know. People from abroad get to know about our can my country. And uh, to talk about this direct democracy, it's found now in Switzerland. And the democracy itself originated from Athens and uh, uh, Romania. This concept of democracy. That is where when there is an issue or there is a bill to be passed out, a set of people join together, but not all, excluding women, women are not given equal right. That's why when we talked about the constitutional uh, democracy, but we cannot say women as minority, but it's a kind of a slavery again. Again, slaves are not allowed. That's uh, it's really a slavery. Uh, there are a group of people who are said to be sold out to others by parental origin or by so many factors are not allowed to vote. And foreign nations, about no country even in representative democracy, mostly they don't allow foreigners to vote on issues. So this is called as uh, democratic system. In this directly means, in parliaments you will be having a hearing, right? All the elected representatives, the bill is uh, kept for voting. The bill is passed away with overwhelming over majority. Even, the, even if the government and the elected ministers want to have a bill, it has to be sanctioned to parliament. Until they have the, they get an opposition and they ask for a voice vote to raise the hands and they want people to put poll votes. Everything should be done. That's uh, the, those are the functions which are done on uh, representative uh, system as well. Similarly, in direct democracy, directly people do by voice vote. We all want this done. Bill passed done. No polling is required. Polling is done. That's direct democracy. All the people come, put a vote form a group and they do that. Similarly like Panjait Raj in villages. It's not something like the traditional family rules the village. That's not Panjait Raj. That is slavery. If people still believe them and they vote for them, then let them rule. Now here we are talking about election. Elected people. They select a person. This person in the village takes care of all the men. This person is a responsible person. He will do good to all the people in this village. They select them. That's Panjait Raj. That's a local form of election. In that system in India also we can bring in this direct election system. They pick out a candidate elect, they bring in, they do that. Similarly social group society, they have in some of the social welfare organization they follow this direct uh, election process. Whenever they have a uh, amendment to be passed or an expenditure to be done for social welfare, they sit as a group, everyone uh, supports, then only they do that. These are all direct examples of direct election but as a government it happened, it's happening in Switzerland. India also tries to bring it, but it happens at a local body election level, in Panjait Raj level. But that too, there are some, there will be some differences. Yeah, obviously, in every form, there will be differences. Anyhow, I think we have given a clear picture about uh, direct election. Then I will be talking about representative election. 
and on my future videos i'll be talking about other types of democracy it's very important to know about democracy so subscribe press the subscribe button and press the bell icon if you want to view my future videos it will come into your mailbox inbox everything based on your youtube setting and uh, if you don't want that don't press the bell icon but press the subscribe button so that you know when you go to youtube my video also will get a preference to be on your youtube screen and you will get all my upcoming videos and share in your social medias like linkedin facebook and help me to grow as a youtube blogger it's all on your hands and it's time to say bye to so jojo and jay signing off from you bye